Hi friends, I'm here with a short yoga offering. As always, please go at your own pace, rest whenever you need to, and feel free to skip things or change things if they're not working for you today. Let's begin sitting. If you have something you want to sit up on, you can grab it, a blanket or cushion, and just take a few moments settling in. You can close your eyes or take a soft gaze. Begin to slow down your breath. You can let your eyes open, keeping a soft focus. And let's start with a side stretch. We'll take the right arm up and over. You might lean onto your hand or elbow. Reaching out. And then start to circle your right arm back behind you, reaching as far back as you can. Finish up the circle you're on, coming back to your side stretch, and then curve your way around through center, opening all the way up into a side stretch on the other side. And then circle your arm back behind you, a couple big circles. Finish up the circle you're on, curve around through center, maybe reach a little further out as you come all the way around to the first side, one big circle. When you get to the beginning, curve around through center, all the way over, one big circle. And then curve to center, fold over the legs, that could be leaning into the hands, the elbows, all the way down. Walk your hands back in, rolling up. We'll bring hands to the floor behind us, fingers facing forward. Roll your shoulders back, roll your elbows back, and then lift the chest. Take the chest as high as you can. And release, hands to knees, round back. Roll up back to sitting, and then try the other leg in front or on top. Sitting tall, drop your right ear over to right shoulder, press down through the left shoulder, looking for a stretch on the left side of the neck. And rotate your chin to your chest. Come over to the other side, both shoulders drop, but now even more through the right side, looking for a stretch there. Rotate chin to chest, come back to the first side, and then go back and forth, half circles. Next time your chin is to your chest, stay there, interlace your fingers behind your head, let your elbows hang down, stretching the back of the neck. And release arms down, head floats back up, hands to the floor behind you again, shoulders and elbows roll back, lift the chest. And release, come up, hands to knees, round back. Roll your way back up and let's bring the feet to the floor, hip width apart. Shift your hands to the floor in front of your feet and take a little rock front to back. As you rock your weight forward, you can look for a stretch through the toes. As you rock back, getting into the calves, ankles, Achilles tendon. And then drop the heels, lift the hips, and come to hang and ragdoll. Feet hip width apart, parallel. You can bend your knees a little or a lot. Take any movement here. Whatever arm position suits you. And then let's 
Plant the hands near the front of the mat. Step back into a high push-up position. Shift your weight forward to lower down, low push-up. And then come into your back bend, and you can take this as gently or deep as feels right for you. Cobra or up dog. And then back to down dog when you're ready, hips high. You can bend one knee as you press the opposite heel towards the floor. Maybe going back and forth a couple times, waking up the backs of the legs. And then bend the knees, look forward like a cat getting ready to pounce. Step or hop your feet forward, inhaling, flat back. Exhale, fold, let your head release fully. Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Inhale, arms back up. Exhale, fold forward, swan dive down. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop your feet back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. This time from down dog, take your right leg up to the ceiling. Bend your knee to your chest and start circling this bent right knee. Go as slow as you need to. Explore your full range of motion. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. Circle your ankle a few times. Big circles both directions. Take your leg a little higher, and then a big step forward, high lunge. Arms up, settle in, sink low. Grab your left wrist and take it over for a little side bend. Come over to the other side, grab your right wrist, take it across. Back to center, interlace fingers behind your back. Lift the heart, hips low, chest high. Release arms up, tip forward, standing splits, hands to the floor or to a couple of blocks. We'll do this with hips square. The upper body letting go like ragdoll. One more breath here. Step back, warrior one. Inhale, arms up. Let's try eagle arms, right elbow on top. Lift the chest, hips nice and low. Shift your weight forward, come onto the toes of that back foot and then step into eagle, Garudasana, knee on top of knee. Hips sink, head lifts. Elbows can put some pressure between one another to spread the upper back. One more breath here. Half moon, unwind, Ardha Chandrasana. Feel free to use a block for your bottom hand or bend your bottom leg. Last breath, release. Make your way to down dog. You might take a vinyasa, high to low push up. Up dog or cobra to down dog. You might move in some other way. Do what feels right for you. 
from down dog, let's take the left leg up, bend your knee in and start circling. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, circle your ankle a few times. Getting out all those clicks, both directions, big circles. Take it a little higher and then a big step forward. High lunge, arms up, hips low. Grab your right wrist, take it over, a little side bend. Same thing, other side, grab your left wrist. Back to center, interlace fingers behind your back, other thumb on top. Release arms up, tip forward, standing splits. Doing this with hips square, with the upper body releasing, let your head hang, let your neck release. Last breath, big step back, warrior one. Let's take eagle arms, left elbow on top this time. Lift the chest, sink the hips. Shift your weight forward, come onto the toes, that back foot, and then step into eagle. Can your breath be slow and steady? One more here. Half moon, unwind. Take your time. <clears throat> Exploring what's possible right now. Last breath here. Release. Make your way back to down dog, however you want to get there. Just a moment and down dog and let's come all the way through to sitting. Back onto our backs. Bring your knees in, little circle or rock. Drop your feet to the floor. Getting set up for bridge. Feet hip width apart, parallel. Press your feet down. Lift your hips high. Interlace your fingers behind your back, shrugging your shoulders underneath you. One more deep breath here. Take your arms out of your way, roll down. Let's take happy baby, grab the soles of the feet on the inside, press your knees towards the floor. You might try straightening your legs part way or all the way, one at a time or together. Let's bend the knees in, grab hold of just the right knee, drop the left leg long, and then take your right knee across for a spinal twist. Come through center and over to the other side. Grab the left knee, take it across. Back to center. Check in with your body. Is there anything you need to do to feel complete in this practice? You can always keep practicing. If you do have more time, go ahead and 
do whatever you want. If you are winding things down with me now, take the next minute or so to finish up. Get your body comfortable, maybe extra layers or props or self-massage. And even when we're rushed, probably especially when we're rushed, so useful to take a Shavasana, even just one minute, a couple moments of coming into stillness, silence, <sighs> surrender. <sighs> and with practice, we can get better at letting go more completely, quickly. So right now, just doing your best, releasing as much as you can. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Move your wrists and ankles. And eventually stretch out long through your arms and legs. Bring your knees in. And roll to one side. Use your hands to help you up to sitting. And we'll bring hands together at the heart. Just taking a moment for gratitude for your practice, for prioritizing taking care of yourself. Namaste. Thank you so much. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Please reach out if you have requests for future offerings. And thank you so much for your support in whatever ways you're able to do that. Venmo, PayPal, and Patreon are ways that you can contribute financially. But also sharing what I do with others really helps me out. Liking my Facebook page, subscribing to my YouTube channel, sharing with friends or family that may benefit from this is all very useful. So thank you for your support.